What's up guys? It's your girl Em and I'm back with another video for you today. So this is kind of a video that shows what we do every night. If y'all don't recall, my refrigerator is broken for the better part of a full month and I was unable to really grocery shop and since I wasn't able to really grocery shop, I all the only groceries I could fit were like in a mini fridge, a mini freezer. I wasn't able to really cook how I like to cook. So now that I have my fridge back and it's working and it's doing fantastic, I can finally cook real meals for Vaughn and myself. So tonight I am making lemon chicken orzo soup. Vaughn is playing the game. He's put, what game are you playing? Spider-Man. He's playing Spider-Man right now, and I am getting everything ready for dinner. And Abel's on the couch sleeping. And Abel's on the couch sleeping. So this is a pretty typical night. I think I might go get my headphones and watch a little bit of The Office on the laptop while I cook. I do that a lot, the laptop's right there. Um, but let me show you guys the ingredients I have. I have carrots, I have celery, a lemon, one onion, spinach. Usually you don't put spinach in lemon chicken orzo soup, but I need to use this up. So I'm going to. Garlic, I have my rotisserie chicken. We ate a rotisserie chicken. We ate a rotisserie chicken yesterday for dinner. So this is a very, very simple and common thing that I do is I'll get a rotisserie chicken for dinner one night. And then what we don't use, I'll use the rest the next day for chicken salad or lemon chicken orzo soup or chicken noodle soup, whatever. That just makes means you have like two days of quick, easy meals that don't take don't involve a lot of planning and don't take a lot of time. So that's just one of my little weeknight tricks. And then I have the chicken broth and the orzo. Got some olive oil, got my soup pot. Then I have sea salt, I have some sage, pepper, thyme, onion powder, parsley flakes, crushed rosemary, and bay leaves. You only put one bay leaf in. Only one, because if you put more than one bay leaf in, it can make your soup pretty bitter. And look, I made brownies last night. They're almost all gone. <laughs> and right here, I, I just got some more spinach. What I like to do is I like to lay them between these like microfiber um, antimicrobial cloths because it takes all of the um, moisture out of the spinach and I put a rebag it into a different bag so it lasts longer. So that's just a little tip I have for you guys to make your spinach last longer. Take a little bit of the moisture out. Look what I today I need to put this over in the bedroom or in the living room but my target package arrived I got these Sonia Koshik beauty sponges and honestly these are my favorite beauty sponges ever I have a Morphe sponge but I do not like it as much as I like these so I ordered these and then I got these really cute leggings they're joy lab and they're like a ribbed seamless material. I really like these. I think pink has a line just like this, but it's a little bit more expensive, so I opted to get a cheaper version from Target. So I can't wait to try these on. They are extra large, so I'm a little nervous. I'm I hope they're not too small, but we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and start chopping my veggies because that's kind of like a boring part. So I'm going to go ahead and chop the veggies and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, veggies are chopped up. Now with the veggies, I like to make about an equal amount of onion, celery, and carrots. And I just did one lemon. I might add more in the soup if need be, but let's go ahead and show you guys how I make it. It's super, super easy. I'm gonna add my olive oil into the pan. Let's turn that on. I put it on like a higher heat, like eight, seven-ish. I'm gonna add my minced garlic first and I add quite a bit. 
almost a tablespoon. Like half a tablespoon, quarter of a tablespoon, but I add quite a bit of minced garlic in there. And I'm gonna add my veggies. I mix it around. You always, always, always want to salt your veggies and salt them pretty heavily. I'm using a sea salt because that will draw all the moisture out of your veggies. I'll let these cook a little bit. And I am going to kind of clean the kitchen up with the mess that I've already made. Put the veggies away, so on and so forth. Now let these veggies cook. Once your onions start to look translucent, you can go ahead and add the chicken broth, which I'm going to do so right now. I just have this H-E-B chicken broth. I'm gonna do five cups of it. Now I'm gonna add my chicken. And I just grabbed any piece of chicken off of the skin, or any piece of chicken that was not eaten yesterday. So there's some white meat, there's some dark meat, there's some skin in there. Make And I made sure that there were no bones. Just gonna add that to the pot. Okay. Now I'm gonna add my orzo. Excuse me, Abel. Give it a stir. Now you want the orzo to be uncooked because it's gonna cook with the chicken in the stock pot. Add a little bit of sage. Add some thyme. Thyme is always really good in soup. You can do fresh herbs too, but I don't have any on hand, so I'm not using any today. A little bit of onion powder. and rosemary. I love rosemary, especially when it comes to chicken and lemon. You add rosemary in it, oh my gosh, delicious. Oh, let's add a little pepper too. Last but not least, we are gonna add a bay leaf. One bay leaf. All right, now, now that I add the seasonings in, I'm going to add my lemon. So we're gonna do the juice of one lemon. And I made sure I got all the seeds out because there's nothing worse than getting a seed in your soup. You can add more lemon, less lemon. It's kind of up to you. Do whatever your heart desires. <laughs> That smells amazing and looks amazing already. Okay, so I'm gonna let this 
simmer and come to a boil so the orzo can cook. I'm gonna clean the kitchen because look at this. Stuff everywhere. And I need to put the spinach in a new bag. So we're gonna let this cook. Looking good already. Because we want that orzo to cook. All the orzo's at the bottom. Because it hasn't cooked yet, as you can see. Let's get cooking. Okay guys, so nobody's perfect. <laughs> but I think I added too much orzo. I think I grabbed the wrong cup accidentally. But um, I ended up putting more orzo in here than I anticipated. So I used the entire second thing of chicken broth to kind of even it out. And now I'm going to add this spinach. And this spinach, it's still good, but I know it's going to get bad in a few days and I just bought more, so I thought why not just add it to this soup? It would be really good. Let's see how that looks. And I added juice of a half a lemon. I added some more lemon juice since I had to add more chicken broth. So, yeah. It is looking really, really good. And I wish you guys could smell through the camera, through this video, because it just smells so good. So, gonna add the rest of the spinach and let it simmer for a little bit longer and it'll be good to go. All right, it's done. Vaughn is about to have a taste test of this. Is it done all the way? I'm scared, guys. Whatever. Because of how hot it is. Uh. <laughs> Not because of the taste. You better let it cool down. You know how I am, babe. You good? It's good. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. Mm hmm. All right. More of like a orso soup with a little bit of chicken, <laughs> like a little bit of spinach, but that's okay. You gotta adapt. I am so excited to dig in to eat this. I'm putting hot sauce in mine. You're putting hot sauce in yours? Vaughn said, because I've made this before, he was like, This smells familiar. <laughs> <laughs> it but it's, does. it's good, trust me, guys. Oh, somebody else is interested. Oh no. <laughs> we woke up the beast, guys. Damn, this bowl might be that bowl ain't hot to you right now? No. It's cause this is ceramic. That's gonna be hot. Yeah, I know. Cause it's glass. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hold it like this. Look who's here. The one and only. Hi Abel! Yeah, so basically what we do at night is I make dinner, Vaughn watches, Watch the, NBA. <laughs> watches the game, watches the NBA or plays the game and we just chill basically. We don't really do much, do we? And I know it sounds like not to sound like a like housewife or whatever, like this like old lady, but I really take a lot of pride in being able to like cook and like know how to run a household. Like I take a lot of pride in the fact that I know how to take care of a home. I know how to take care of my man. You know how to take care of a spoiled baby. I know how to take care of a spoiled baby named Abel. <laughs> and I don't know, I just take a lot of pride in how I keep my home and how I run it. And I don't know, it's just like kind of a, a thing for me. Off? Yeah, you can turn it off. So, but that's it basically for this video. I'm about to eat my lemon chicken orzo soup. And then all I have to do is clean the kitchen and then it's, I can do whatever I want. Just chill and I think I'll probably watch a movie or something on Netflix or Hulu. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you think. I have some more cooking videos I think coming soon. And also, I didn't even say anything.
anything in the beginning of my video. My channel is officially monetized, guys. Woo! So my home decor vlogs are gonna be coming soon and I just have so much coming your way. You have no idea. But thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out my Twitter at mnman. Follow my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield, and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah!